Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Here you can see 2005 Toyota Corolla LE with only 135,000 miles on the odometer. And in previous video we were doing diagnosis of airbag light on, which is in the instrument cluster. And we scanned a computer that was code B1811 for which is for disk script circuit open and I told you that 99% it's the clock spring in the steering wheel and that means we will be removing the airbag and if you are ever working around the airbag you better go ahead and disconnect the battery I started filming guess what's happening the guy outside immediately showed up for the garbage this is unbelievable let me show you who it is he knew that I'm going to film he knew he waited outside and then he came <laughs> this is crazy so when you go Toyota training, you clearly know you need to remove the negative terminal from the battery. Did you see how it jump back? And make sure it cannot move back. And now you're supposed to wait 10 minutes. So now we are back in the cabin and the question is, how do we get inside of the steering wheel but first your question should be are your wheels and therefore the steering wheel in exactly straight position because that new part is said that your wheels are in this way if you had it turn one turn either right or left and you install the new part which is centered for this position well the next time you will drive behind the corner with a entire turn an entire steering wheel turn you will rip in the pieces then brand new part so you have to pay attention to this so back to the steering wheel if you look from here I hope you can see there are two holes and there are torx screws so i will need t30 to get inside and loosen those hopefully you can see perfectly the angle where your tool goes in did you hear that and these two bolts they will stay there they are in like a plastic holder I think this one was a little bit less torqued. So now you are able to lift this entire airbag pad out. And the next will be removing these two connectors. Can I zoom on it? Oh yeah, you can see it perfectly. And you have to be very careful. You don't want to damage anything. And it's about the lifting these two tabs. You are prying them very carefully up. This was enough. You heard a click. Click. And now you can remove again towards to you. Away from the airbag. These two connectors. Hopefully you can see it nicely in detail here while you are working on it how you store the airbag so this is the wrong way if you left it this way because if by any chance by mistake it will go off it will blow this will be projectile it will basically fly towards to the ceiling or something the correct way to store it is this way because now if it blows 
it will just make boof and that's it it will not become a deadly projectile so as you sit here with me these are two screws the t30s and that's why i said they will stay there this is what i just have disconnected now we have a cruise control right here so that will need to be disconnected right here hopefully you can see me doing that that's the tab because this will stay on the steering wheel the rest of it is good to go now we can focus on removing the snut undoing the snut removing it and pulling it away first i need to mark the center here on the steering wheel so i will be able to put it back exactly the same way here is my paint to mark that area and doing this it's the shaft and then the steering wheel so i need to continue this mark and that will help me later to put it exactly same way now i'm going to use socket 19 in the size 19 millimeter to remove that nut and now it's the work is to remove the steering from the shaft when we did it at dealer most of the time 90% of the time you was able to use your hands only and not to bring the puller. The puller will be screwed here in these two holes and then pulling it off. Let me try by hands only. Now you will see why they call me Peter D. Great. Because I will just pull it off, right? Maybe not. Losers like me need a little puller. Here you can see the puller installed in the place. And here you can see basically the principle of it. I should be holding the steering wheel with the other hand. And it needed just a little bit. And it popped off. I should make sure I don't break those except this part is garbage so it doesn't matter now I can remove the puller I guess the strength of Peter the Great is gone so this is our new point of view we have two Phillips screws and then should be in the number three right here but somebody didn't put it back so Phillips screwdriver and let's go for these two babies now I need to continue with separating the upper portion from the lower so I will use some kind of prying tool and carefully take them apart I think I will lower the steering column a little bit to remove this top one with more ease. I don't want to scratch anything. Since we uncovered this whole area, I'm wondering, uh-huh, what is this? And if it actually, it's a dirt from outside, which looks like it. And that's what got inside and actually destroyed this clock spring. So we have one more connector on the bottom. Hopefully you can see it. Again, the yellow, the yellow connectors and the lines are for the airbags. Here you can see a detail. It even shows you the top. But this part is kaput. We can look at it later. Or we can take it apart in different YouTube video on this channel. Let's continue. Let's not get distracted. Let's disconnect this part and get on with our repair. 
I just pushed in from underneath on this yellow connector so that's loose. <clears throat> there is one more black one right here. Same thing. And now I should be able to finally remove this defective part. It's there are just clips holding it on. And you just saw it, it just popped. Here is the last view of that entire area where we work, yellow and black, before I will start installing new part. Here is the new part, you can see it, and it has this stopper, which keeps it in that position we discussed, right straight. Here are the clips, one, two, and three, which clip on that entire assembly, so there's not much of rocket science to put it back. I'm just being careful, feeling it, and I will push it on. Did you hear that? I will go back with installing two wires. This is the black connector with a green wires. Click. I will go back with the yellow. We know that's the airbag because the color, coloring of it. I still remember how it was there. So it shouldn't be a problem to put it in. I will rather grab my light. Here is the picture, what I just did. And it's a moment when we are ready to break this off because there was just holding it in that perfect position. We have that sticker top. Did I mention these things are super expensive? Toyota told me 400 bucks, I believe, plus tax. So definitely you have to look around for your source uh, if you don't want to pay so much. Plus, if you pay somebody to replace it. Look at it right now. Hopefully you can see it this way. Yeah. That's all you do. You break it off. So now it will be ready to turn around. Right? Do you see it? It's loose. But I want to keep it in this position. So I set. If I turn it one more time and then put the steering wheel in the straight position, I will break it internally. So it needs to stay this way. This is perfectly installed. Now it's time for that trim to go back carefully without damaging anything, which is possible. You just have to be gentle with it and pay attention. All right, that is uh, uh, like a guiding rod here. Better follow that carefully. It will go inside of there. Uh -huh. So I can see it's matching on its holders. Everything's fine. Now, where did I put the bottom? That thing right here, my friend. I had it nicely on the roof. Okay, pay attention to all the wires. There's no reason to rush this. And just follow the little tabs. There are tiny tabs right here, which need to mate with the upper part. Meanwhile, I'm watching that I didn't push the upper part up. Uh, this is not fitting right here, so I better help myself uh, gently right here. Yep. Don't rush this, definitely. I have a perfect fit. I can put back these Phillips screws. Now I need to take these through here. Come in. And I'm watching my mark on the steering wheel and the shaft which we made in the past. And that's why it's there, so I don't put it incorrectly. And I see it, it's matching right now. And my source says that it needs 50 
Newton meters, five zero. I have it here. I have to be careful for these wires. Also, be careful with the steering wheel and the lock. You don't want to apply all the torque on it itself. I'm trying to hold the steering wheel. Where are we? That was 42. One more time. 49.4. Is that good enough? I think so. Now we are ready. I plugged here the black connector on top. And we have these two wires. And this is really important. Very delicate. So these connectors are asymmetrical. So please watch for the shape of these connectors. Under no circumstances try to force it. That will be a horrible mistake. It should go easy in. And after it goes all the way in, you lock it with pushing on this yellow tab. Like so. And that will prevent it from popping off. <coughs> Excuse me. Same with this one. Asymmetrical connector. Don't ever force it. You will just break it. So you click once in and now the other click. These are perfectly secure on the airbag body. I have these two screws here perfectly in the place. I carefully turn the airbag and will put it in its place. After that, if the screws are in correct position, I will be able to reach them. It's about the other side. Did I get it right? I hope so. Oh yeah, both of them are tight. I will grab the ratchet to finish the torque on those. Don't panic if you don't hear the horn or anything. You know why. We have the battery disconnected. I don't have any torque number for this. Just use the common sense and see that it's perfectly sitting. This has some aftermarket wiper alarm. It purely theoretically will go off. I don't know. I brought a whole remote here in the case it happens. Didn't even better. So I can see we have security flashing here. Everything is hooked on. And now is the question. We had that coat with the airbag light and we couldn't get rid of it using a scanner, correct? Let's see if computer will erase it itself or we have to bring the scanner. We will start it up. The light came off instantly. So you can perform this repair by yourself without owning the scanner. I can already read somebody's mind thinking this guy says he's perfectionist. But I bet you he didn't put that third missing screw there. There's no way. Well, I value my customers. Hint. Voila. It's installed. Took me a while to find the right one. Most of my screws like that in black color were bigger, but then I found one. This is perfect again. Nothing's missing. Hopefully this customer will appreciate it too. Now what do you think? What's the level of difficulty on this job? I will personally say it's like a medium Obviously, you have to be stronger than me to pull that steering wheel off without the puller or you need the puller. But if you will ever do it yourself, please observe all those precautions and safety measures. 
extremely important if you work around the airbags. Other than that, it's pretty okay. I think it's doable for almost everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. You will find it helpful for your own Toyota ownership. If you do like it, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. Be subscribed. Have that notifications on so you don't miss the future videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.